welcome to Keysight Technical Clips. In this video, we will look at how to use Keysight's N5182B MXG signal generator with option 431 to create a custom digitally modulated signal and how to demodulate it using the N9038 PXA signal analyzer and the 89601B VSA software. Our setup is thus. The MXG creates the signal and provides RF output to the PXA's input, which will in turn run the VSA software. Let's get started. Let's start by creating the signal. The option is embedded into the generator and hence very simple to use. I start by going to Mode, Real-Time Custom Modulation, Modulation Setup. Here I can set up the modulation parameters. First we start with the modulation type. I'm going to select QAM and I'm going to go for 1024 QAM. Next, we set up the filter parameters. I'm going to keep root Nyquist and I'll change the filter alpha to 0 0.35 and return. Next, I'll go to symbol rate and I will choose 20 mega samples per second, mega symbols per second, sorry. I'll keep the data at PN23 normal. And finally, I wrap up by pushing real time custom to on. The next step is to set the signal generator's own settings. I will choose a center frequency of 3.5 gigahertz and amplitude level of minus 10 dBm. And finally, I will ensure that both the modulation and RF are set to on by checking the two LED keys below them. Now let's switch gears to the analysis side of things. On the PXA analyzer, we can press frequency and then auto-tune in the spectrum analyzer mode to see the signal spectral characteristics. This is a simple way to verify that we have a signal where we expect it to be. Next, we can go to Mode and then start the 89601 VSA software, which can be run embedded on the analyzer, as we're doing in this case, or it can run on a PC connected via LAN to the instrument. By default, the software starts in the Vector mode, and we will switch to the Digital Demod mode by going to Measure Setup, Measurement Type, General Purpose, and then Digital Demod. Let's pause the measurement so that we can set up our demodulation characteristics. This we do by going to Measure Setup, Demod Properties. Under the Format tab, the important things to set are the actual format, which I will switch over to 1024 QAM, the symbol rate, which remember we had set to 20 megasymbols per second, so I'll make it 20 megahertz. The result length should be long enough where we have enough data that the VSA software can process. For 1024 QAM, I will set this to 2000 symbols. Under the Filter tab, we'll verify that our measurement filter is root raise cosine to match the root Nyquist that we had originally set. Reference filter would be raise cosine and the alpha value stays at 0 0.35. Okay. We also need to change our center frequency, which we can do down here. In the, in the little hotspot. We change our span to 30 megahertz since our signal was 20 megasymbols per second. This will give us some bandwidth there. And we auto range the signal. And finally, let's change our display to a 2x2 two two grid. We can see we have demodulation on the 1024 QAM with less than a percent of EVM. That's pretty good. And that's all there is to it. For questions, please feel free to contact Keysight Technical Support at www.keysight.com slash find slash contact us. Thanks for watching.